Many cultures around the world are taught to respect their elders. In many cases, it just comes naturally and doesn't need teaching. We can see much kindness and thoughtfulness coming from younger generations towards elders, with much love emanating from both. In the Mediterranean countries, the elderly members of the household are cherished and looked after in their later years. The thought process is, they sacrificed their younger lives for us, going without and working hard in order for us to have an education, to have things that they didn't have, to teach us everything that they knew and pass down family history and knowledge. And now it's time for us to return the favor by taking care of them. The entire family and neighboring families in the community are involved and everyone does what is needed for supporting without considering it to be a burden. Sadly, in many cases in Western culture, that's not the case. With many younger generations, the thought process is, don't go to that town, it's full of old fogies, it's like God's waiting room. Or perhaps, have you seen the new person in the next office? He's ancient, so he won't be any fun. We'd better be careful he doesn't peg it at his desk. The thought process should be, an older person, I bet they're interesting and have many fun stories to tell from all their experiences. I think I could learn things from this person. Unfortunately, attitudes that used to exist in the West have been abandoned in recent years, just like the elderly. Many that are in need are left alone and don't have the support, consideration or the care that they need. They've been abandoned by their families, abandoned by their communities, and abandoned and let down by those who consider themselves in control. It brings much sadness seeing elders living alone, struggling with the ways and intentions in a world that is forever changing daily with new sciences, laws and technologies, and all seem alien to them. It's no wonder they feel lost. It's sad to see older people working in manual labor positions. For some, this is a choice and a pleasure but for many, it's a matter of being forced to. They have no choice, mainly for financial reasons, since working hard for 45 years or more and then retiring to enjoy your pension appears to be something that's a non-achievable target. Political types have moved the goalposts for many, increasing the age of retirement and diminishing the pension amounts, which removes options, leaving many elders with no choice. You may say, well, I haven't reached that age yet, I don't need to worry. Perhaps this is true. However, life is just a short learning experience and time passes by very quickly. It will soon be your turn to be the elder. Stacking shelves, sweeping, cleaning and being on your feet all day is something you take for granted when you're younger and you have energy and you have mobility. In colder climates, the weather can play a negative role for the elderly aches, pains and tiredness comes on easily in cold weather. It's rather like an old car. The engine still works, but it needs regular checkups and a few new parts to keep it running and in good working order. It can be of no surprise that so many people choose to retire to the brightness of sunshine in warmer climates that heals the engine and restores vitality and energy. The sun is a healer, both physically and mentally, and brings less stress. Some elderly people even find better medical care in foreign countries, which is not available or is denied to them in their own country. Choosing to send millions of pounds to support a foreign conflict while elderly people from your own country are suffering is something that those in governmental positions should eliminate with immediate effect. Sending much love to these people so they can realize the consequences of their actions and the negative effect that is the result. For younger generations, please remember that the elderly have been where you are today. Perhaps they don't have your physical energy, but mentally they certainly do in many cases. They're able to exercise, do yoga and sports to remain supple, but not for an eight hour working shift. This must also become a thing of the past. Governments and governing bodies need to lower the pension age to what it was before, without any excuses. It worked, and it worked for a reason. 
If something works, then you don't change it, nor do you look for ways to change it. Veterans living on the streets without support and elderly people living in cars, caravans and in poor living conditions in lack must now be a thing of the past, unless it's a personal choice. Lessons need to be learned from this, never to be repeated. If we cooperate and work together, we can achieve this. We can make change happen for the better and we can make people's lives better. We may not be old now, but the time will come.